Let me drop my van into your heart. Let me drop my Did I hit something? I don't see anything. What is that? <laughs> Holy smokes. Uh, uh, ow. Steady. That's the most near-death experience I've had all trip. Let's get driving to my next stop, man. No, 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 no! Come on! I, uh, yeah, it's not running. You're saying a giant deer showed up? That's insane! And dangerous! You need to get out of there, kiddo! I know, I know! But my car won't run, and I'm out of gas, and my wallet... Your wallet? Well, I might have dropped it outside somewhere. You can find it in the morning. Yeah. For now, you need to get somewhere safe. I guess you're right. Where are you, anyway? I'm... somewhere called Gravity Falls? Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Dad. <sighs> Let's find a safe spot to sleep, then. Wow, you all right, kid? Yeesh! That car's definitely never gonna drive again. What happened? I don't think you would believe me if I told you. I seriously doubt that. Uh, all right. So, I was driving, and I thought the view from here was really beautiful. So, I stopped to take a picture, and then heard a big crash. And when I turned around, my car was being crushed by a giant tree hand. I did take a nice picture, though. Oh, that's just Steve. Who? Steve. It's a... Tree giant. It does that sometimes. It's best not to think too hard about it. It threw a deer at me once. <sighs> and here I thought it would only be a quick visit. A tourist, huh? Stan, no. Say, kid, have you ever heard of the Mystery Shack? Um, uh, no. Stan. What? You can be a customer. Yes, but you don't have to promote the shack to literally everyone we meet. What have I gotten myself into? Wow, gnomes exist, too? Kid, in case you haven't noticed, this town is pretty weird. Indeed. Although I'll say it's very unusual that someone encounters a creature so soon and this close to the natural barrier of the town. You see, my theory of weirdness suggests that this town attracts weirdness like a magnet. One way or another, the weirdness always goes to Gravity Falls. But I have never seen the tree giant so close to the town border. It also destroyed my car when I first arrived here. I had no intentions of leaving, but it did prevent me from going out of town too much. Huh. Wait, are you trying to say whatever this creature was, was trying to stop me from leaving because I'm weird? Uh, possibly. Uh, oh, don't take it personally. Being weird isn't so bad. That's not what I was worried about. No birth certificate, no social, no proof of residency other than mail from Wacky Sacks Inc. addressed to the beach, Beach City. Under special skills, you just wrote various superpowers? I like your style, kid! You're hired! If you're worn out and you're on the road, why not stop by and visit us in Gravity Falls? You might see things that you don't believe in, so come tag along. Uh, Mr. Ramirez? I told you before, dog! 
Just call me Seuss! Uh, yeah, Seuss. Uh, bus just dropped off two kids. They're here! They're here! Who's here? We only have two weeks here. I hope I have enough time to show off all 187 sweaters I made during the school year! <sighs> this place sure brings back memories. Yeah, a lot of them traumatizing, but, you know. <laughs> Slowing down has been fun! I've only worked here for a week or so, but it's nice to be normal for once. The kids are fun to be around too. Yeah, I think this is just what I needed. Steven! Me and Mabel almost died in the woods! It was amazing! Ah, fuck. <laughs> it has to be a pterodactyl! But they're supposed to be extinct! Are you sure? This one looks alive to me. Um, so... Are these a regular occurrence around here? Or are things just being... weird? Well, they come and go throughout the summer, but this isn't weird or anything. I mean, it's Gravity Falls! This always happens. One thing worse than dying is... BAM! Mm -hmm. Me? No! Wait, I got this. <laughs> We're dead. Why didn't she poof? What do you mean, poof? Steven, did you grow overnight? Or shapeshift? Huh? Oh no, I just got some heels. Aren't they cute? Uh, they're fabulous, Steven. But why walking around with them here? I need to break them in and practice to fly my leg ship better. You're what?! My boy, I must say I've witnessed strangeness concerning Mr. Universe as well. My interactions with him have been... odd. Hey Ford, do you like cuffing your pants? Hey Ford... Thoughts? God damn! Do you like Mamma Mia? Here I go again. So you never went to school? Ever? Nope. I mean, I guess I did once, but I never really needed it. Cool. And you can do magic with your gem? Yeah! Watch this! Wait, you also had an encounter with clones of yourself? Yeah! Uh, there was also time travel involved in that. It's a whole story. Have you had time travel? Yeah! Have you ever been in someone's mind? Uh, technically, yes. Have you ever switched bodies with someone? You bet! Have you- Life and death and love and birth and peace and war on the planet Earth. Is there anything that's worth more than peace and love on the planet Earth? Oh my gosh! We should sing something together! Do you know several times? Uh, I do not. Uh, but I have some CDs from a band I know. Sadie Killer and the Suspects. Sounds cool. I shoot a wig wondering where my summers went. I want to be disobedient. Dis Go girl, coming through. That girl is you. <laughs> Can't help it if I make a scene. Woo! Go Denver! Stepping out of my hot pink limousine. here! Sadie, Shep! Hey, Steven! It's so good to see you guys! Uh, Steven? Oh, yeah! Wendy, this is Sadie Miller and her partner, Shep. They're from Beach City, too! Guys, this is Wendy. She works here! Hmm. Sadie Miller. That name sounds really familiar. Wait. Miller sounds a lot like... <gasps> Are you Sadie Killer? Wendy's a big Sadie Killer fan. I can tell. Yep, that's me. It's nice to meet a fan and a friend of Steven's. Actually, speaking of Steven, did you know that his dad is Greg Universe? Sadie! Your dad is Mr. Universe? Wendy, my last name is literally Universe. I thought it was a gem thing. Wait, why am I here? Gee, I don't know. 
Maybe you've been living off the government radar for years, then suddenly showing up with no legal documents and casually telling everyone you're an alien hybrid! Yeah, okay, but tied up in a locked room? Kid, you should be grateful you're not tied up in a lab getting dissected or something. As for you, who are you? I swear Steven Universe is not your real name! S sir, uh, please. It was changed legally by my dad. Then where the heck are your papers? Your IDs? Birth certificate? Your citizenship for sake! Can I have a phone call real quick? I must be in Dipper's dream. Huh? Ah! <laughs> Who are you? That's none of your business. Who are you and why are you in the dream? Steven is lying to us. What kind of demon are you anyway? I'm my own demon. Hmm. Uh... Uh... Wow, who's your new friend, shooting star? <laughs> oh, oh, thank God. Dipper! You're back! What is this evil Dorito? <laughs> Dipper, what do we do? I don't know! So, how's it going? Huh? Starlight? Is it true that you shine bright like a diamond? Or is that another lie from one fraud to another? Uh. <laughs> hey, what's with the laughing? Pink? That's a good one. You don't get it. I don't know about you, but I've got healthy coping mechanisms now. And I know for a fact that I don't need to listen or but help you with the way you're acting now. <laughs> All I'll do is wish you the best recovery and bid you farewell. Nah, he's just a twerp! How's it hanging, Diamond? Mm. Oh, don't like that, do we? Mm. I could do better. How about Sparkles? Or Pinky? Uh. Oh, no! Stop it! My name is Steven. Wowee! Shooting star, you're scared of me while this monster is around? Leave what Steven are you alone, about? Bill! He doesn't need any more enemies than he already has! How, how did you... It, it isn't like that anymore. I, I'm better. Are you sure, Rosie? My name is... What? Steven! St Steven? Steven? What are... Who are... What happened? Are you okay? I'm sorry! <laughs> Tipper! <laughs> Stop! What are you gonna do, Don't huh? Listen to him, Steven! <laughs> you gonna shatter me, kid? You going to break me into pieces like you've done to someone else before? Steven? <laughs> Change your appearance while you're at it, why don't ya? You know, kid, I can help you forget those awful memories! Uh, wait! Uh, Take me instead! 13-year-old sweaty human? 17-year-old gem creature? Huh. You got a deal! Deal! We don't need to fight. Let's just end this now. How does it end? <sighs> or... <laughs> but the one show takes place in 2012, and they, they turned 13 then, and the other guy in the other show was 16 at the end of that show, then technically the guys from the show for 12 would be 20, which is older than 16, right? Ah, uh, where uh, am I? Uh, 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 Wait, what the sh- No, please, uh, you're disgusting me, uh, back down! Uh, uh, Steven? Ah! Uh, uh. The last chimp tasted like broken dreams 
and agony. Ugh. Why is that giant man always staring at us? Oh, that's Paul Bunyan. He's like the lumberjack god, I guess. <laughs> Wasn't a joke, dude. My dad doesn't let us eat dinner until we thank him. What was it that Paul Bunyan even did? I don't know. Destroyed the environment so we could have cities or something? Ah, uh, that sounds familiar. Perfect timing as usual. Oh, Stephen, you're doing so well for yourself. Oh, yes! A and we really love your new form. Doorbell? <laughs> what does that even mean? <laughs> uh, guys? Over here. Oh, thank the stars your new form isn't this hideous. Form? It's just a headband it holds my hair down and and that's a pig <laughs> <laughs> headband pig <laughs> where do you come up with these things but but this creature has gems oh my this isn't another corruption is it uh, no no these are plastic uh, my new friend mabel bezazzled this tubby pig belly for glamour reasons her words. Ooh. So, this is where I work now. Welcome one and all. Uh, not to worry, ladies. Mr. Mystery Jr. can accommodate tourists of all shapes and sizes. God damn it. Mr. Mystery Jr., you know we could have just shapeshifted ourselves smaller. Gonna shoot straight with you? I had ulterior motives. Come on, Zeus! We can finally eat lunch off the spool! I poured you some juice in your favorite thimble. Yes! Today is gonna roll! Do, do you guys need me to shrink some real furniture? Psh, yeah, so we can pretend to be in a regular size room. Come on, dude. It's almost hypnotic. What do you call this object's strange power? I guess, bobbling? They're magnificent! If only we had these during the war! <laughs> Sweet big blue ox of Bunyan! The pizzazz apocalypse is upon us! <laughs> no, please! Mercy! <laughs> I knew this day would come. Oh yeah, this is totally your color. Hmm, my color. Careful, children. So here we have on my dollar bill, there is a picture of a horrible dream demon who tried to kill me. And here we have Steven's money, and mine explaining to me why in that same spot, you're taking his place! Oh dear. They had to use that picture. Uh, we should probably get out of here. If anyone asks, I never had this thing! Was that an angel? Foxo writes, on a scale of 1 to 10, how much do you like crossovers? I don't like crossovers. I love them! And on that scale, two crosses way over. My favorite right now has to be the Duck Detective x Crying Breakfast Friends crossover. Wait, really? How did I not hear about this? Oh, you have got to watch it. Here, let me pull it up. Part 1, Sniffling Croissant gets a job at Scotland Yard by... Dalai Lama Biter. Oh, that's the guy who dubs these. Oh, so it's fan made. Would you would you stop being so emotional, Detective Croissant, so we can focus on the case? Detective No! Matt27 writes, what happens when you put Spinel and Mabel in a room together? Alright. Let's break it down hour by hour. 
Hour one? Hilarious pranks. How can I help you, my fa- Oh. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Look, I am happy to help any customer, but... You gotta exist first, dude. <laughs> what? What? Uh, Seuss, I overheard Grunkle Ford and Dipper talking, and it sounds like the shack could be haunted by a ghost. Oh! Step aside, dude. I've had training. Waka 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 waka. Seuss proceeded to munch the air for an entire hour, which brings us to hour two. Screaming contest. <coughs> Needless to say, I think I lost that one. At hour three, I finally had to intervene. <coughs> Spinel! Mabel cannot breathe on the moon. She has lungs. Do not stretch her there. Oh, uh, come on! Nark! What is all the respective characters' favorite dish in Lazy Susan's Diner? Uh, I don't know. I looked at the menu first time I was there and saw something called lumps. So I only go there socially. Ah, Greasy's Diner. You know, I, I recently paid a trip there for the first time since the 1980s. It was decent, but they just don't make the lumps like they used to. Who is Lazy Susan? That's not a nice nickname. Uh, the lumps, duh. Yeah, I submitted a design for a lumps mascot. His name's Lumpro. He likes skydiving and sneakers. Oh, oh, get this dude, his catchphrase? Gotta have my lumps. You know, I've also been workshopping that as my catchphrase around at the Mystery Shack. And Melody tells me it doesn't make a whole lot of sense for like a tourist trap curator. But you know, I think it'll catch on. Hmm. Oh, they have lumps. Cookie and me 23 asks, Dipper Ford. Have you heard of Ronaldo? He's a bit extra, but he's a constant seeker of the truth, just like you two. <sighs> yes, I have heard of Ronaldo. How's it going, Great Uncle Ford? Well, I still have made no headway on tracing Crash Site Omega's planet of origin. Oh, uh, right. I, I had asked one of the forums about this, and apparently one of the experts is on his way here. Ah, uh, yes. I have encountered this technology before. This is clearly from the Bligon B Bligon system. Right, well, that is absolutely not a solar system. So I figure we will keep investigating. You dare question a licensed astrophysicist? Astrophysics is not a vehicle. You need a degree, not a license. Hammer 15. This is a story about Dipper Pines. Have a friend is named Bipper. And Steven hates Bipper, so that's what happens. Steven starts to fight and hurt Bipper. He thought that Bipper was bad boy. So Dipper and Mabel are trying to stop Steven. But he did not listen to the twins. The, so Dipper ran in the middle of the forest carrying Bipper. And he said that everything is going to be fine. So Bipper started crying. And he said, well, everyone hates me. And Dipper hugs Bipper. And promise Bipper that he's gonna protect him for him now. Oh, right in the fields! When's part two coming, dude? Come on, I gotta read more of this! 